What is going on guys, you guys heard the sofa cushion and uh, I'm here to bring you guys my opinions and thoughts on Infinite Warfare. Uh, real quick, the gameplay you guys are going to see is uh, TDM on Precinct and it was a really, you know, tough game. Uh, we had to make a big comeback and I go crazy, have a pretty good score. It's a really awesome gameplay, hope you guys enjoy it. But um, what I wanted to talk about with this game is uh, um, I actually really enjoyed the beta it, it wasn't that bad for me it was more so i i did obviously have problems i'm not gonna sit here and be a complete fucking cod fanboy think say it's a good game just because it's cod i've been playing cod since uh call of duty 3 so i've been playing for a long time but i can say when a game that i even like is bad and has its flaws um first i'm gonna say what i think this game did right um I think the movement is pretty solid. I like it. It's kind of a slowed down version of Black Ops 3. And it's it, it feels good. It feels smooth. Um, I still personally prefer Black Ops 3 uh, to this game, actually, overall. But yeah, this game has really good movement. It, uh, it feels fluid. It feels solid. It feels smooth. Um, I think the hit detection... I've, I've been hearing you know different opinions on this good bad i think hit detection on this game is actually pretty fucking solid um using regular guns ars smgs whatever that's mainly what i use uh even with snipers i found that the hit detection was pretty on point i wasn't getting any bullshit kills i wasn't getting killed you know bullshit where the guy was he should have missed me um i feel like this game did good with the movement and hit detection and it it's, it looks good it's a cod game it looks good for you know um, what it is, I think the graphics are pretty nice, the game is bright, colorful, sometimes it's a little bit dark in certain areas, but not a big deal, certain maps are darker than others, but it still looks like a good game. Uh, what I don't like about this game, obviously this list is going to be a lot longer because the good things took about two minutes. Um, I don't like the time to kill, it's, it's not that I don't like it overall, it's inconsistent as hell, to the point where... At times I will be three-shotting people, and at times I will be six-shotting people. At close range, medium range, it, it's inconsistent all around to the point where I feel like it's... I don't know if it's lag, if it's connection, if it's the game. It's, it's really, really fucking bad and just inconsistent to me. And I just... Um, I really don't think it's good. It's weird. If it was just straight up like ghosts where you die really quick... I would say, hey, you die quick. That's a problem. You know, make it, fix it. No one wants to die that quick. It's not enjoyable if you get two-shotted, three-shotted from anywhere, any gun. Um, another thing I feel that this game did right, though, is with the time to kill, um, I feel like it's consistent in the way that you won't be three-shotting people cross-map with guns, like ARs, especially SMGs. I feel like they really made it to where range matters. If you're close, you're, you should melt someone. That makes sense. If you're far away, it should take a long time. But there are times, like I'm saying, where I was close and I took six shots with an AR or an SMG. There are times when I was far away, I took two, three shots. And I'm like, this doesn't make sense. I watched, you know, I barely ran into that person. They had full health, no doubt about it. Um, that's, that's my problem with the time to kill. Another problem is um, the game just, it doesn't feel... F I can't pl sit down and play this. I, I played the hell out of the beta, but I did not play it as much as I thought I would. Um, I can't sit down and play this game for hours without getting bored very quick. Um, I don't know why. The game just doesn't feel as fun as Black Ops 3 did, Call of Duty 2, Modern Warfare 2, 1, 3. I didn't like Modern Warfare 3 personally. I still had more fun playing that than I did this, which is insane to me. But, uh... That's another thing. The game just isn't fun, and uh, that's that's a problem. You know, you want your game to be fun. You want people to keep playing it. Another thing I had a problem with is um, the lack of weapons. There was n there's no weapons in this game. There's like five ARs, four subs, three shotguns, three snipers. Like Black Ops Three has more weapons. Um, Modern Warfare. I don't understand why they've gone on the route to where, oh, let's just have less and less and less and less weapons in the game. Variety's awesome. I love having lots of weapons to play with and to 
to mess around with to choose from, like Black Ops 1, Modern Warfare 3, those games had a fuck ton of weapons, and it was fun. You could goof off with a lot of things. You could, you know, you feel like using a specific type of weapon, it's there, you know? Um, that's another thing, this game just has no fucking weapons. Another thing that I don't like is sniping. It's not a problem, but it, it is at the same time. It's not too, it, it is too easy. Do I think it's broken? Absolutely not. The people who sp- the people who are crazy good at sniping, they're fucking sniping specialists. That's all they fucking do. The people who do insane quick scopes, trick shots, crazy KDs with snipers, crazy kill streaks, those motherfuckers spend all so much fucking time sniping. That's their main niche. That's what they do. While you run around with an AR, they're running around with a sniper constantly. Granted, I the first game I used the sniper in this game, I went like 30-something and fucking less than 8 deaths. It is too easy to a certain extent. Aim assist is too much. There is too fucking much of it. Tone it down a bit. It might not be that bad. You know what I mean? It's it's not a huge deal. I don't think it's a big deal. Even if they don't tone it down, it personally to me, it won't be a huge deal. But to a lot of people, I see it is. Another thing that I think this game... Um, lacks is um, map design. The first three maps that we got, Frontier, Throwback, and uh, Frost. Throwback was okay. Frontier and Frost were just bad maps to me. And uh, apparently also a lot of people have to say that the maps weren't great. They, they weren't. The beta maps that we got, Precinct is okay. I actually like Precinct. Terminal was Terminal, but it wasn't. It didn't feel like Terminal. Yeah, it looked like Terminal, but it didn't play or feel like it in the slightest. I think that, uh, also with the beta, it felt like more like a fucking demo. This game's done. It's been done for a long time. This game, this wasn't a beta, it was a demo. A lot of people also feel that, and I agree with it. This game, it, it's a demo. They're like, this isn't a beta whatsoever. But, you know, the game, I like it. It's not bad. Am I, uh, am I gonna buy it? Of course. I like it. I'm gonna play it a lot. If I feel like going future, I have this. If I feel like going back modern, I have Modern Warfare Remastered, which is the good thing about this year's COD. You have two things to choose from to the, I guess you could say, newer generation of people who like the Exos and the floaty and the bullshit like that, futuristic scene. They have this game. People like me and a majority of the you know COD fan base, I would say at this point, they want a modern era. We have Modern Warfare Remastered. It's, it's two good things, two great things in my opinion. Is this game bad? Yes. Is it good? Yes. Like every game, it has its flaws. Do the flaws outweigh the positives? A little bit. This game needs work, but I like it. I dig it. I had fun playing it for the time I did play it. It was fun to me, and I I know a lot of people had fun too. But those are my thoughts and opinions on uh, Infinite Warfare. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, do what it is you want to do, comment, let me know what you guys think of the beta and the game and all your stuff, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next one.